Hello YouTube. I have finally achieved something which I have sought for a long time now. I repeated the experiment in which I attempted to create fatty acids from methanol and an amino acid powder containing cysteine and methionine. And this time I was able to see visible droplets of fatty acids as well as very large well-formed fatty acid vesicles under the microscope which clearly show the double membrane which is characteristic of such vesicles. When you have a YouTube channel devoted to prebiotic chemistry and are trying to show the different mechanisms by which biological molecules can form under natural conditions on the primordial earth, it is absolutely essential to be able to demonstrate how fatty acids can form in this environment, since fatty acids are a major component of animal cell membranes. The type of reactions which lead to the formation of fatty acids would most likely occur under hydrothermal vent conditions of extreme temperature and pressure, such as the environments of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor or at the source of geysers or hot springs deep beneath the earth. It is in these type of environments which allow reactions to take place which would not take place under normal conditions. In order to simulate these conditions, I used my hydrothermal reactor or autoclave as it is commonly called. First I did a thorough cleaning of my autoclave scrubbing it with hot soapy water followed by a hot water rinse. I then poured acetone into the chamber to remove any fatty acid residues which might be present from previous experiments and poured out the acetone and rinsed again with hot water. This was all done to avoid any contamination which might skew the results of the experiment. I added 60 milliliters of a 50-50 solution of methanol and water and then added 5 grams of amino acid powder. I heated the autoclave which rested at a temperature between 300 and 350 Celsius with a corresponding pressure of 1,400 pounds per square inch or 10 megapascals. I conducted this experiment over the course of 16 hours after which I let the autoclave cool and poured the contents into a beaker. To my delight, I was able to see visible droplets of what I would later determine were fatty acids. There was also a sheen on the surface of the liquid and a rainbow effect, much like what you would see in a puddle of water which has been contaminated by oil. I was not able to capture this effect on camera though, only witness it in person. In my replication of the Miller-Urey experiment, I demonstrated how amino acids could be formed from the atmospheric gases nitrogen and carbon dioxide along with water vapor by passing a high voltage spark through the mixture. These amino acids could potentially rain down from the atmosphere and mix with the water deep beneath the earth in the basin of a geyser where they would be subjected to extreme temperature and pressure. Also, formaldehyde has been found on meteorites from outer space, and so it probably existed on the primordial Earth as well. Formaldehyde is simply the oxidized form of methanol, and so methanol likely did exist in this environment as well. And as I show, the reaction of methanol with amino acids can indeed produce fatty acids. So first I want to show the beaker uh, which contains the liquid I extracted from my autoclave. And here you can see the uh, sheen that I was talking about as well as the fatty acid droplets on the surface. You'll have to excuse the red light that you can see. Uh, that was my uh, light for my camera. I had to get really close to the beaker in order to uh, view this uh, correctly. And next up is a snapshot of my uh, of a control solution of fatty acids along with the experimental uh, slides that I took from my reaction mixture.